Okay, there's a couple of schools of thought on this particular thing. Um, I use circuit board cleaner, um, so basically this dissolves any dust or crap that builds up on the um, encoder. Um, the reason your bike might be running really, really badly is if dust builds up in this encoder. So the encoder is basically a disc with lots of little holes in it. This circuit board in here, mm -hmm. which fires a little laser, um, three little holes to work out the exact motor position. If there's dust in it, then it does blues as its spot. Anyway, you just want to spray out the stuff in it. You can use just straight up compressed air. Um, but some fine dust sort of needs to be dissolved up a bit. So I just got some of this circuit board cleaner from J Cars a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing special about it. Well, let's see if I can figure out how to put this thing in. All right, I'm gonna do it without the spray <laughs> nozzle. Should be exciting. Yeah, just give it a good spray. Um, it usually sorts it out pretty well. It's quite volatile stuff. It's basically alcohol, so it'll it'll boil off pretty quick. Here's a bit of bog roll. The toilet paper is is commonly known as. And just wipe away any of the crap that comes out. Right, this one looks pretty clean, but you don't really want to be touching the disc directly or putting pressure on the disc unless you bend it. If you bend it, then you've got for a new encoder disc. So gentle, gentle. That's your order of the day. <laughs> um, ideally, you want to get rid of all the crap that's built up like elsewhere in the same day because if it's in there, it'll probably end up back in the encoder, and you don't want that. Um, if you have the encoder tool, um, it's worthwhile to take the encoder out. But I don't think that's necessary most of the time. If you do take the encoder out, then you'll need a tool to put it back in. Um, it's expensive, so, and it's usually a long wait from Poland. Spin it around as well, so you get the same spot in a few different times. Oh, you should be right. Nice and sparkly now, and it's just a matter of putting it all back together again. Um, yeah, where did I put it? Nah, in there is good enough. <laughs> all right, so putting this back on. It's worthwhile to clean this as well. Crap has a tendency to build up. Even though it is nice and tightly sealed, it is a very dusty environment. Very close to the road. The seal's not 100% perfect. Yeah, the, seal, the seal itself degrades. Obviously, if a tissue ends up on the floor and gets covered in dust, probably don't use it to clean your <laughs> to clean anything. That's good enough. Uh, no, that's not necessary. All right, 
so on the seal there is a sort of little o-ring triangle thing that's to go around the wires to the encoder that's the only tricky part about it otherwise you want to line up the holes on the seal with the holes in the motor assembly and basically pump it on top <laughs> getting it all to line up all at the same time is a little bit of a juggling act to practice I find it easier to poke the bolt through the plastic through the seal and then try and find the hole in the motor assembly um, only put it a couple turns in until you find the hole for the next one make your life easy some of it's a bit by feel because you won't be able to get your head in there to look at it Go. Make sure the plastic, sorry, the, the seal on this side. Let's you can see. Whoops. Make sure the seal on there is actually on the inside of this plastic cover. It sometimes will poke out. If it pokes out, it's probably not going to seal very well. Once you've all got them all in a couple of turns, then you can buzz it back down with the drill. If you're using an impact drill, uh, make sure you uh, torque limit it because it's usually steel bolts into an aluminium housing. It will strip the aluminium housing if you put too much torque through it. It, or you can just do it by hand, but again, don't over talk it. Um, and then you want to screw it back on. This motor's off a wreck, it's been in, in an accident, so I'm going to put the cover back on that came with it. <laughs> Not very pretty, but it'll do. And that's all there is to it. Next up, you fire up your bike and make sure it actually goes backwards and forwards properly now. And if it doesn't, then it might have been something else. <laughs> <laughs> or the problem may have been something else.